Hi students, welcome back to our channel, Chemistry Lab. So, we will talk about this video in the next video. So, we will talk about the battery and fuel cells. There are many types of batteries. So, we will talk about the topics of the battery. So, we will talk about the batteries and fuel cells. So, in this video, we will talk about the battery and fuel cells. We will talk about the energy sources. We will talk about the topic of the battery and fuel cells. Sources. So, in the first video, we will talk about the nuclear fission. So, nuclear fission is the mechanism of the nuclear fission reaction. The characteristics of the nuclear fission reaction is in the video. So, let's talk about the video. So, let's talk about the video. So, let's talk about the energy sources. So, let's talk about the nuclear fission. So, nuclear fission is the nuclear fission. It is a process of splitting of heavier nucleus into two or more similar nuclei with simultaneous liberation of large amount of energy. That is a heavy nucleus. That is a split of the where the nuclei is produced. That is a reaction that is simultaneous and large amount of energy is liberated. That is a very good process. That is splitting, splitting of real. Okay? So process of splitting of heavier nucleus. For a heavy nucleus on this split up with it, split time and get the correct of it now. Two or more similar nuclei. Are they more than the Korea? Similar to Korea? Nuclei on the end of the other than the way for the nuclei on the other than the correct of it. So in the reaction of it, the simultaneous on the large amount of energy on the liberator. So on the process of the pair line of it, the nuclear fission. So, we will see the mechanism of the reaction. Now, we will see the reaction. Now, we will see the unit of the uranium. 92 to 35. That is the atomic number, mass number. Uranium 92 to 35. Now, we will see the unit of the unit. One thermal neutron is moved. Bombard up. So, uranium 92 to 35. One thermal neutron is bombard up. Moved. Now, we will see the unit of the unit. Unstable uranium 92 to 36 is the same thing. That is the same thing. Uranium 92 to 36 is the same thing. It is unstable. So, if you have a split up, the split up is the same thing. So, it is the same thing. So, it is the same thing. So, it is the same thing. The neutrons are the same thing. The neutrons are the same thing. Plus, the energy is the same thing. So, this is the heavy nucleus. That is split up the two or more similar nuclei. Plus, neutrons are produced. So, in this reaction, we have a large amount of energy liberated. So, in this similar nuclei, we have a barium 56-140 plus krypton 36-93. Okay? Plus, three neutrons. Okay? Plus, three neutrons. So, in the path, it is equal to 56 and 36. Now, we will add to 92. That is the path, we will add to 140, 93. So, for 233, it is equal to 3 neutrons. So, for 236. That is the path, it is equal to the atomic number and mass number. Okay? That is the path, where it is equal to the path. Xenon, 54, 144. Plus transient stars, transient 38, 90 plus 2 neutrons. And then one cesium, rubidium, 55, 144, and here 37, 90. Okay? If I don't have an app on the bottom, I don't have an app on the bottom. Atomic number, mass number, all of the balance of. So, now the neutrons are connected, plus the energy one release of. Okay? So, if that one, we don't have a mechanism. If I need to finish on the end, I have to use the mechanism in the end, I need to use the mechanism. Okay? So, that's what it is. Characteristics of nuclear fission. Nuclear fission reaction is what we have to do with the nuclear fission. So, if you look at the first point, heavy nucleus. That is uranium 235, plutonium 239. So, it is heavy nucleus. Split into two or more nuclei. For heavy nucleus, it is split into two or more nuclei. Similar to the nuclei. That is the first character. आठ तीन आठ दिन पाते हैं ना तो आठ मोर न्यूट्रॉन्स आप प्रोड्यूस सब अंदर रिएक्शन मेकैनिज्म नारकुम बोल रहे हैं इतने में सुनना 
neurons are connected. Two or more neurons are connected. That is one characteristic property. That is the large amount of energy is produced. So, in the reaction, we have a large amount of energy produced. Energy is released. So, that is one characteristic. That is why fission fragments are radioactive, giving beta and gamma radiations. When the fission fragments are released, we have a radioactive radiation. That is why we have a gamma and beta radiation. That is one characteristic property. That is the atomic weight of products ranges from 70 to 160. If we have a reaction, we have a product that is correct. That is the atomic weight. What range do we have? 70 to 160. That is the characteristic property. That is the fission reactions or self-propagating chain reactions. So, in the reaction, we have a chain reaction. That is the self-propagating chain reaction. So, if you look at this, you can produce the neutrons. So, what do you do with the neutrons? You can strike the nucleus and react. If you look at the uranium, you can react the thermal neutron. That's why the neutrons are correct. If you look at the nucleus, you can strike the nucleus. If you look at the nucleus, you can react the nucleus. If you look at the reaction, Torture and chain reaction. So, that is the self-propagating chain reaction. That is the self-propagating chain reaction. That is the main thing we have to do. The nuclear chain reactions are controlled and maintained by absorbing neutrons. So, that is the nuclear chain reactions are controlled and maintained by absorbing neutrons. If you look at this answer, what is the answer? Now, we will produce the neutrons in the mechanism. Produce all the neutrons in the mechanism. We will strike the nucleus in the mechanism. All the neutrons in the mechanism will escape. Some neutrons in the mechanism will strike the nucleus in the mechanism. The nucleus will strike the nucleus in the mechanism. The nucleus will strike the nucleus in the mechanism. The nucleus will strike the nucleus in the mechanism. So, the nucleus will strike the nucleus in the mechanism. So, this is the main thing. So, that is the main thing. So, that is the main thing. Nuclear reactor. So, then, nuclear chain reactions are controlled and maintained by absorbing neutrons. That is the last characteristic property. The multiplication factor. So, the multiplication factor is the fission reaction. The fission reaction is the number of neutrons produced. Multiplication factor. So, number of neutrons produced. If you have a value on the one way to come here, it will be a chain reaction does not take place. If you have a number of neutrons, 3 neutrons, 2 neutrons, it will be like this. Now, this is the multiplication factor. If you have a one way to come here, it will be like this. In the reaction, the chain reaction will be like this. Okay? So, that is the multiplication factor. So, this is the points of the characteristics of nuclear fission reaction. Okay? Now, we will talk about the video. First definition of nuclear fission. We will talk about the mechanism of nuclear fission. We will talk about the reaction. We will talk about the characteristics of nuclear fission reaction. We will talk about the points. Okay? So, if you like this video, like this video, like this video, like this video, share this video, इस केमिस्ट्री लैंड चैनल के लिए वो तो बार बार हमें सब्सक्राइब करने का हमारे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बार वो टॉपिक पर भी पाप ला सो प्लीज स्टूडेंट्स से लाइक करें प्लेलिस्ट वो तो बार बार वाच करने का सो प्लेलिस्ट पाती ना उनके इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री अभी पोर्टल में टॉपिक पोर्टल आधे लोग पढ़ेंगे ना उनके ये लाल 